No reason. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who cares about the lobster? An absolute moron. Oh! Just get out of here. This is a kid's show. Impression. I have it now. Oh no, not these again. Don't think dirty. <laughs> Thanks for pointing out the obvious. No, 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 no. Welcome ladies, gentlemen and everyone else in between to the continuation of this epic saga. Dragons Rescue Riders. The Hunt for the Golden Dragon. It's a short film that released on March 27th, 2020. Wow, they released that literally seconds after they released the first season. Um, now, I'm aware this technically takes place after season two, and so does the other sh short films, but I don't want to look at the second season just yet. That's going to be another month and a half of making the video and praying to the YouTube gods that they will allow me to upload it. I need to set up all the pentagrams in my room and work on my demonic summoning spells. Be gone! We still have our good old buddy, boy, Daphne and the other dragons. Go watch my previous episode for context for jokes and characters. I worked really hard on it, please check it out. <laughs> also leave a like because Rescue Rider stands are going to come out full force to dislike bomb this video. Please leave a like. This is a continuation of why this show is still the absolute worst. Unequivocally, Pile of Doo Doo. TV show that ever spawned. Oh, why am I doing this to myself again? I'm gonna have so many problems this episode. Like I did for the last one. Right, the hunt for the golden dragon. There's just a guy. <laughs> Boom. Wow, he does front flip. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this dude. What? We start with the rip-off of How to Train Dragon 3. Wait, they can't go five seconds without ripping off the actual main franchise. I must get these two, the rescue riders. What if you need to get it to the rescue riders? What? The character that we see that's hop, skipping and jumping around is called Uldondo del Mondo. <laughs> the theme song. <laughs> no. It's fine, it's fine, it's just mild PTSD. Find the southern lobster. He's right there. Oh, it's... It's, it's just... Mm. So we have the gang that walk out of their home to purple. No, he isn't. The, the voice acting in this is like starting to get quite irritating because it feels so forced. Wow! The hell? Do they know who he is? I feel like I'm missing a bit of context because technically these um, shorts are after the second season. And I haven't watched the second season yet because. That's what we're gonna be like another two hour long video. And I thought, well let's keep it to the these shorts for now. I didn't even know which one to watch first. I thought Golden Egg would be alright. I feel like the the, the singing one's gonna be an absolute nightmare to get out because of all the songs. So i I could be missing context in terms of they may have already met him in the second season. Okay. I would just assume that. If not, then it's a bit weird. It's just here all of a sudden. Also, yes, this is, these are my, these are my balloons. <laughs> Look at what they are now. They're like Italy. Throughout a lot of this, Cutter seems to see through a lot of tricks. I don't know if it's his weird special ability or he's just big brain. I think it's neither. And it's just the writers making some contrived so Cutter does something a bit more than sit at the back and do nothing. Anywho. <laughs> 
so the rescue riders capture Waldondo del Mundo. Is not a good look for you. Is, is Moreno even we'll change the voice actor? And take him to Moreno because apparently they know each other. They have a very weird relationship. Thanks for pointing out the obvious. The main reason why he's appeared to the island and was sneaking around on the ships early is because he has a map to the Golden Egg. And many other pirates are going for it. You mean the dragon that, according to legend, only lays one egg every hundred years? An egg that happens to be made of solid gold? Two things there. A dragon that lays an egg every hundred years. Good for reproduction. <laughs> Good evolution, guys. Because, you know, how does pass your genes on every, uh, every hundred years? And two, a golden... Please... Please, it not actually be made out of gold. I can understand saying, oh, it's the golden dragon because of like the look of it. But I don't want one of those, what was that, iron claw dragon thing that we saw like in the last video I did, whatever. <laughs> Is it actually made out of metal? <laughs> Is this actually going to be made out of gold? No. Reality, he just wants the rescue riders to work it out so then he can just steal the egg for himself but you know it's great you just leave it to a bunch of kids i'm sure they have enough intellect to work out an advanced riddle that could confuse pl many adult men and women as long as he gets what he wants to so we're seeing a lot and uh, i don't like that to keep the location secret he hid the directions in this riddle that's a good way to keep something a secret you must save the dragon's head. He's just giving <laughs> the work oh, to the kids. And what did you know? They actually go because they have nothing else to do in their pathetic, boring lives. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, Render? So they head towards the island and. What are they? They meet the other contestants. I guess this is a game show now. Ho oh, ho, welcome! Who wants the Golden Egg Game Show? Come hither, let's meet the contestants. Group 1, the Rescue Riders. These must be the legendary Rescue Riders. <laughs> Finally, we get some respect. You there. Respect? Let's do some bargaining. The kids. <laughs> Group 2, Waldondo Guy. Oh, querida, you got me. I am here to make amends. Top oh, Shagger. <laughs> Contestant 3. This. Alvin. The Outcast ripoff. Alright, Alvin. Oh, really? Come over here. Really? Get in my dungeon. <laughs> I got some candy for you. His name is actually Eric the Wrench. The Wedge? Wrench? Why is he a wrench? <laughs> What? Dragon Hunters? Fire. Literally Dragon Hunters? <laughs> to my ship, <laughs> look at them, they look so serious. They got those smacked <laughs> Vikings on. I'm just going to call him Alvin because he's pretty much just that. Um, so, Pedo Alvin um, has this weird two tone thing. It's supposed to be comedic, but. This is what like a five-year-old makeup for like a YouTube video. Just get a hint, my dude. Jesus. Hey, wouldn't it be funny if he's like all serious and strong, and then just secretly wants to have like negotiations and and stuff? Is actually quite shy. <laughs> Isn't that funny? No, this is like very surface-level humor. I admit, I would do the exactly the same. I'm not putting myself on a pedestal here, <laughs> but I do expect more from writers whose job it is to write. This is a kids show. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, backup, cutter, purple. Contestants, welcome. This is the first riddle. It's a great map design. The golden path is where fortunes bloom. This is like the first draft of a video game. <laughs> what does contestant number two do? There it is! The golden path! Let's go! <laughs> that is just a golden egg. 
H to a K. <laughs> There it is! <laughs> I wonder where it could be! Oh, I, I don't know how they kept that dragon so hidden. So <laughs> All they had to do was go to the island. <laughs> what is that? Tell me, a lot of the design is right. Oh my god. Hmm, which cave was it? I couldn't tell from the outside. <laughs> what does contestant number one do? That golden cave is way too obvious. The key word is bloom. Look. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Now I'm not right? I know it was supposed to be obvious, but it's still such a bad design. Like, surely you're supposed to keep the island? I don't know, I don't care. It's just... Also... Bloom. The, 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 the hint was bloom. So you can only go there at springtime when the flowers are out. Even though, even then, there's only like two caves. So they go down the gold, the obvious golden one, and found out oh, there's nothing down there, and then just go to the other one. Oh. The clue says the golden path is where fortunes bloom. And what's golden? Silence is golden! And is that for Agro told me when she thinks I'm... Silence is golden. I mean... Silence is golden, that sounds a bit weird. I feel like... That's not quite the same. I could be wrong, it's just me. But... That is such a leap in logic. The path is golden, so it must be silence. <laughs> okay. The golden path is where fortunes bloom. Where's the bloom in the answer? That does make sense. Illogical sense. <laughs> I agree. And what does contestant number? Oh, he's not here. Number three's not here. Yes, yeah, so literally four caves. One of them you can't even fit down. And the winners is, for this uh, first riddle, contestant number one group. The golden, silence is golden, gold. The leap in logic is the answer. Help. They're tangle vines. Look out. Oh no, not these again. No, 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 no. I can't see any golden eggs. I can't see any golden anything. Yeah, because you don't have the destination, you twat. <laughs> Rats. Other bugs. I was gonna say they weren't even animated. Ready for riddle number two? Oh, what was the rest of the clue? Some light can save the day. Contestant number one. What do they do? The How are you backed up against the wall? You, you came in through the. Can you? Contestant number two. They're not there. Um, and the other half are still messing around in the other cave. So, Cutter was right with the golden this silence. Silence is golden. I'm surprised there's not a fat joke yet. I'm waiting for it. Oh, they're just out of here. Uh, this is pointless. Moving on. Like the fact that I figured out all the clues and put us on the right path towards a wall. You're done. So we both picked the wrong cave. Not only there's like four Ks, two of them lead to the same destination. <laughs> you have a 50% charm. Even if you didn't have any of the clues, you have a 50% chance of getting the direction correct. This is very well hidden. <laughs> it feels paying attention, which I understand is very hard to do. You have to use what, more than one brain cell? To, to make this show make sense. Um, you would actually hear the fact that the other half, Daphne and Summer, decided to actually circle back around and go through the right cave. Because they were wrong. Because the leap in logic always made. I can't get over that. Those bugs were really scary, and they tasted terrible. Uh, right, right. I'm mistaken. They did go round down the other cave, so they did turn back. But they didn't know that came in. 
Oh, and then he just ate eaten just ate bugs. Oh wait. Get it guys? Cause he's fat. Look at that crazy. He's fat. <laughs> he's a fatty dragon. And that's all his personality. <laughs> On the map there is a door. So Summer decides to squirt some water on the wall and lo and behold, there is a door. Am I the only one who can see a door? We all see the door now, Burkle. Just checking. This is too easy. Well, just get out of here. Can you, out. can you just like, can you like, grab Burkle and his fat ugly mug and just <laughs> kick him out of here. Get him out of here. Because he's so <laughs> aggravating. <laughs> Can we make purple be quiet for like ever? Please? Thank you. The others are somewhat tolerable. Purple, you 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 you're, you're getting close to what did I say you are a lot? You're getting very close to um I don't know what to say. I forgot what I was gonna say. Great. Whatever. Testing, testing, one, two. Hello and welcome back to this very interesting game show. Now we just need a key. The rescue riders discover there is a hole in the door. Nothing is the secret key. Nothing. Maybe we don't need it. There is a hole in the wall. <laughs> this is a kid's show. <laughs> don't think dirty. <laughs> Boy, oh, stick your dick. <laughs> he's five. He's five. He's five. Stop. Stop it. He's five years old. I'm gonna be on a dick's <laughs> truck. Oh no. So, what do you think they'll do? A. Try and find the key. B. Put a finger in it. C. Put their dick in it. D, blast it into oblivion. And the answer is C, I mean B, put the finger in it. Dax, don't even think about it. <laughs> oh, I literally just, I had that thought in my head, right, of just like putting a finger through it or anything. And then it came to the... That. Um, <laughs> I'm actually doing it. Why every time it's like the first thought that comes to my head, they just do. Every time, man. Also, he loses his finger. Great. Um, magnet? How do they have that technology? That's Buildium. Who's? <laughs> Shorty. Oh, but look who decides to turn up. It's just a female Lord Farquaad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm doing a shallow joke because she's short, just like Lord Farquaad. If you're so sly, why can't you just figure out the riddles for yourself? She's dumb because these children are the most intelligent beings of all time in this world. Turns out there was nothing behind that door. Silly rescue ride is, is why you don't lead it in the hands of children. Okay, if she snuck up on them, right, to like let the dragon rescue riders, I was gonna say dragon riders, <laughs> oh hiccup, you will be missed. The rescue riders to um like to to get the dragon egg. Why don't you do it right before they get it? Maybe see they'd be able to have the dragon egg visible the golden dragon egg invisible and say oh there it is and then bam have that weird magnetic thing which is just buildium and it's not whatever very purpose models because it's a kids show and they save as much money as possible so they can make as much money as possible <laughs> what map you are not very good liar uh, yes i am uh i mean I'm not lying. No! I want my map! We don't have your map! Eric the Wretched took it! He's probably in the right cave. Depression. <laughs> 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 I 
have him now. Magnus? Wait, is Magnus gonna be me? Oh, this cinematic? Look at him. Oh, wow. So, so then now they can just free it. The magnet is still on. <laughs> but anyway, they discover a carving on the door, which is oddly in the shape of the map. Because, you know, you should always have a map leading to a hidden thing that you want no one to discover. This is the riddle. Nothing is a secret key to unlock the door you see and find the next place to be. And they put the rock in the hole of the map. No, that's not nothing there. There is a rock there. These riddles just don't make any sense. Wow, really advanced mechanism for such an ancient thing. Ooh. <laughs> I'm already tired and I've been recording. Already tired and I've been recording for like half an hour. <laughs> this is only 40 minutes short. Halfway done and one hour over. <laughs> Also, I mean, okay, alright, here we go. Here's the first compliment that took half an hour. But uh, that one was pretty clever. I mean, like, the, the actual island of the thing in the map. I commend you, sir. Commend? I congratulate. I don't know. Your words. Oh, hey, Waldondo Del Mundo. <laughs> what are you doing here? How much of betting he's going to betray them at the end? No, mate. Um, he's betraying them now as we speak. Okay, so the magnet's still on. Good consistency, my guy. So you just killed children. Adios. Yet yeah, forever, because you literally killed them. I do wonder how the rescue riders are going to get out of this predicament. <laughs> Ooh, better watch and find out. Again, again, again! See? We're getting it! Keep firing! Again! So all the cave squashes on you guys. Because structure and targetry and everything. Why not do the purple rolly thing? Because that worked before when there was a solid wall of the caves. <laughs> uh, you know, the cave may not collapse on you, just it'll be fine. We could just blast over here! It took you that long to figure that out. Absolute moron. Please, can we just game end him already? Can he just not exist? <laughs> Cutter, every dragon has his day, and today is yours. We need you, mate. I'm just cringing. <laughs> I thought I'd be like, yeah, yeah. Somewhat like, I guess, like. I'm literally just cringing at the moment. I don't know why. It's probably because it feels so forced. Today is your day! Just a middle-aged man. <laughs> and congratulations, you worked out the age of him? Ma I'm getting tired. <laughs> Come on, did I really think these things will stop a dragon as sharp as me? Yes. Because you're blunt as a... I'm not that witty. you stink! When I watch this show, I'm just... Dead. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, let's watch the first five minutes. I should put this on when I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> he drank the liquid out of the mouth. Did he? Drink her saliva? I mean, is it drinkable water? Either way, that's just gross. <laughs> I have so many questions, and I'm not going to get any answers to them. But hang on, I just realized because I wasn't really paying attention before. So she fires like weed, like puff. Cloud? Like a spice thing, I remember he just sneezed from it. It's not very good in warfare. 
You'd want cannons, like you can sink ships. Obviously he has like neck cannons so he can take down dragons. Weeds spot Like that's gonna do nothing to another ship. This is like a, I don't know, like a poisonous thing. Like you send one and see if it's we call it a game mechanic. But what is this? Welcome back to the game show. Now, the rescue riders have just landed on the other island. <laughs> and <Andrew. laughs> They're ramming him. <laughs> Mexican showdown. What is he gonna do? Oh no. Here he is. <laughs> Why did you stop that? Here's the riddle. The next clue says, to find the end you'll need a beast. Who helps you most, you'll expect the least. Who are the animals that will guide them to victory? A. Sheep. B. Eels. C. Another species of dragon. D. Wolves. Right, but what animal can it be? Your yeah, mum. And the answer is wolves. <laughs> Yeah, they're just a dog. They're not wolves. <laughs> they bark and wag their tails. Something only a dog can do. We cut back to the pirates uh, hanging out with the Cool Kid Club. Initially, they're like, oh, they argue, as all pirates would. Ninja, out of here. Go, Lord Farquaad, you got this. Rip. But eventually, they come together to form an alliance because... A group of pirates will be better than a group of ch children. Literal children. Oh, and, and dragons. But it's very obvious what's going to happen. They're going to backstab each other. Ooh, a padding. You can get to the point a lot quicker than this. It does feel weird running with water. They teamed up. Cool. Ugh. The rescue riders get led to this room. What? Now, I'm not going to spoil what happens in this little talking segment here. I'm going to show you the clips and just show me working out the cogs and, and like completing up a bafflement and dismay at this absolute scrutiny. <laughs> this is the worst thing that this show's ever done. And I'm not even joking or exaggerating. Oh, what? off! <laughs> Actually, go away. I thought, is that hideous? If I back and looked at the others, oh. ground cool, monstrous nightmare, deadly nada, hideous. Is that back? That better not be a night fury. I think these are dragon glasses. Dragon classes. Oh, yeah, they're dragon classes. Yeah, that's probably most likely a night fury. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Like, this is probably built like ages ago. And if it is in the same universe as Trained Dragon, it doesn't make sense why it's them. And this is the the rescue rides take place way in the future, but ill. <laughs> I don't like that idea. That's that one's the mystery. That one's bolder. That's probably like. Strike, Tidal, Stoker, Tracker, Sharp. Why is it just a random Easter egg? It's a, I mean, I know it's part of the same franchise. First one is a monstrous nightmare. Lay? Yep. Yep. They are in this. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Cry. The worst offense is the fact that their original dragons are rip-offs of these ones. So. Next one is a Gronkle. Oh, that looks like me! So it's gotta be strike class! Winger is a strike class! You're a bolder class! Sorry! 
Winger and I are just alike in so many other ways. We can't even at the moment. Uh, I think we just figured out with the rest wow, of the Wow, Magnum is just yeah. out of the lights. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's shot glass. <laughs> no, wait! Don't do my Almost there. One dragon left. If you say Night Fury. The last one looks like a Night Fury. A Night Fury? Why is this it? Those dragons! Yeah, that... I know. I know. I know, audience. It is awful. I know. I, I, I just can't believe it. But, um... After all that... Of course, um... The rescue riders... A. Find the egg. B. Find the dragon. C. Oh, I, I don't care anymore. Look, they, they come across the golden dra egg now. So are you guys coming or what? Wow, oh, he's smart. Egg. <laughs> Eggs. Whoa. Congratulations. Egg. Cool, they found what they were looking for. But they still haven't dealt with the main threat. How does that human child speak dragon? Two things, one. What is that voice? <laughs> Get a new one. <laughs> Two. There's just like a chimney to it. <laughs> There's like a whole riddle. And so we just go through the top. <laughs> look through. Oh look, there's a golden thing there. <laughs> you really protect that well, did you? Uh. Oh, and we come across the uh, golden dragon. What? What is that voice? Oh, I'm so done with this. Do you really think I need help from a bunch of kids? I can take care of my own egg. That looks me! <laughs> Again! If anyone gets in my way, they'll have to deal with this. Sparkle. Do you really think any of you can do better? <sighs> I'm too I'm too dumbfound. I see something stupid and I just like freeze of just dumbness. And I'm like on the edge of trying to say something, but then I'm... It's just so... What? Why? I have too many questions at once, so it's just silence. To clarify, my dumbfoundedness was from the Golden Dragon thinking that his blast was good. Um, and even then, the Golden Dragon was supposed to protect its egg. How is it going to protect its egg with th that ability? And how did that evolve? I'm again. I'm thinking way too much. Exactly. They're working together now. Wait. We'll what? just stay there. Do you have a glitter thing? I knew I should have just stayed in the back on their joke. I can't even formulate a sentence anymore. Fourth wall break. Characters self-aware of their sort of role. Hang on, let me get this straight. You're not always in the back, you're quite often out the front doing stuff. And making jokes? You're terrible at that. Get get a better day job, mate. <laughs> you're gonna become a comedian. Wait, that's quite a... Uh, ironic statement within that. And why are you having self-doubt? Like, they just teamed out, they're just doing something intelligent. And even then, I don't know what they're actually going to do. They're not actually teaming up. They're, well, they're teaming up and then they're going to backstab each other. Because I'm going to pay each other themselves. Hurdy, hurdy, hurdy. I don't know. Oh, okay. I should just play and get it over with. We don't even know what bucket that lobster was under without you. Who cares about the lobster? <laughs> so here's the last task for the rescue riders to do. Defend the golden egg. And welcome to the game show. Now this time, it's not targeted towards the characters. This time, it's targeted towards you. Yes, you, the viewer. You have a chance to comment down below, or just not because, you know, why would you? Or what's going to happen in the next five minutes? So, the pirates have teamed up and they want the golden egg. The rescue riders are at the golden egg location and they need to somehow get rid of the pirates, full stop. <laughs> Do they A, give them a decoy for them to take home and carry off into the sunset. Do they B, fight the pirates with their own abilities and sink all their ships to get rid of them? C, do they make decoys and accidentally drop them so the pirate thinks that the golden egg's just not there anymore? And finally D, 
Do the rescue riders wait it out until the pirates give up and go home? And the correct answer is this. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty illogical one, but you know what, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> Go <and> blast. <laughs> wow, transition, wow look at that speedboat, look at that dude, yeah, so that, oh my god that is so hard. <laughs> Dialogue, guys. Disappointed. Me. Oak. You can't trust a pirate. Who can you trust? No one cares, mate. Again, it just makes you sick. What the hell was that? Who are you? To end this complete monstrosity. Ugh. Marina reveals herself. She was undercover this entire time. Literally, who cares? She literally accomplishes nothing. I mean, I should have seen it coming, but... I don't care. What a big reveal. Wow. Well, don't know the Mumbo decides to turn good or whatever, team up with Marina. No one gets revenge on Marina except me. Now kiss. My parting gift to you, querida. Go with your dragon friends. I will deal with his rebrand. What well, is this a redemption arc? I fight the other pirate. I don't get his motivation. He's just like, whoa, I'm a wacky dude. I do what I want. Baby's hatching. No, oh, another baby they have to look after. But in the end, of course, this is a preschool series. Everything ends with a complete happy ending. The egg is completely fine, and it hatches. Oh, look at the adorable baby dragon, which is going to develop such an annoying voice. Right. That's it. For a short, there wasn't really much um, conclusion. <laughs> it just ends like it's an episode. It was just such an abrupt ending. Well, they left it on the transition, so... Transition. Transition. So, yes, this show is still bad. They don't have as many cliches and annoying plot lines, but they still have really annoying characters. <laughs> well, Purple was just extra annoying in this. And some sort of really forced moments and a link between how to train I don't like it but again it is not offensive I don't mind this can exist in my world I'm granting this existence congratulations anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video give it a old like if you uh, want to see me cover the other shorts and the seasons and uh, thank you very much for watching TTFM Ta-ta for now.